no intermediaries between God and man. Many religions have given certain religious privileges to some individuals and made people's worship and faith dependent upon such individuals' approval. In other words, they constitute intermediaries between God and them and falsely claim they can pardon their sins and even have knowledge of the unseen. Thus, Islam came to honour and dignify man and refute the false idea that man's worship, repentance or salvation depend on certain individuals' sanction, no matter how devout and virtuous they may be. In Islam, a Muslim worships Allah directly, without any intermediaries whatsoever between him and his Lord. For Allah is close to his servants. He can hear their prayer and respond to them and see their worship and reward them for performing it. No one in Islam claims to forgive sins and offer indulgences. If a person commits a sin and sincerely seeks Allah's forgiveness, Allah certainly pardons his sin. No one possesses supernatural powers or can influence the universe in any way, for the power of decision rests with Allah alone. Islam has also liberated the human mind and encourages Muslims, when differences arise, to refer to the Quran and the authentic sayings and actions, Sunnah, of the Prophet. For no human being has the prerogative to decide on religious matters after Allah, except Allah's Messenger, the recipient of Allah's revelations, who does not speak out of his own desire. As the Quran states, he does not speak from his own desire, it is nothing but revelation revealed. Surat an Najm 53, 3-4 How great this religion is! It is in utter harmony with the pure, natural disposition upon which Allah originated man, making him his own master and enabling him to exchange the servitude to false gods for the perfect freedom of worshipping Allah alone.